Good morning. There's no live stream from the West Bolton team today. Here is a short pre-recorded service of words and pictures. My name is Margaret Irwin. And uh, if you've not seen me recently, that's because I've been on placement during Lent and last Sunday at St Mary's uh, the Virgin in Presswich. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let's pray together. Risen Christ, for whom no door is locked, nor entrance is barred, open the doors of our hearts, that we may seek the good of others and walk the joyful road of sacrifice and peace. To the praise of God the Father. Amen. At St Luke's this morning, we're going to be thinking in our prayers about four aspects or types of prayer. Adoration, confession, thanksgiving and supplication. For adoration, you may want to find a YouTube clip. Uh, my suggestion here is Thine be the glory, risen, conquering son. We're then going to now move into a time uh, of confession. So we'll just pause a moment to think over uh, at the last week. Like Mary at the empty tomb, we fail to grasp the wonder of your presence. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Like the disciples behind locked doors, we are afraid to be seen as your followers. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Like Thomas in the upper room, we are slow to believe. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Some prayers of thanksgiving. Thanks and praise to you, Jesus Christ, Lord of all, given the name above every other name, Jesus, Lord of all. King of righteousness, King of peace, enthroned at the right hand of majesty on high, Jesus, Lord of all. Great High Priest, living forever to intercede for us, Jesus, Lord of all. Pioneer of our salvation, you bring us to glory through your death and resurrection, Jesus, Lord of all. As we turn to prayers of supplication, you will have your own uh, uh, things on your heart which you want to uh, ask God for. But we would like to pray as a team for our um, that God will be calling a, a new team rector uh, for us. Um, you might like to pause um, this recording um, for your own prayer. Our reading this morning is taken from John's Gospel. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. 
If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. I'm giving a talk at the 9.30 at St Luke's uh, uh, this morning and I'm going to be concentrating on how different people uh, believe in God. We have, uh, towards the end of this reading, uh, Thomas's reaction. Unless I see this and feel this, I will not believe. And we see Jesus come to him and encourage him to physically put his fingers uh, and his hands onto uh, into those wounds. It doesn't look like uh, Thomas actually did that, but immediately falls into worship. But we are among those who are blessed because we have not seen and yet have believed. You might want to pause this here and read again the Gospel reading and see which part speaks to you this morning. I'm going to invite you now to affirm uh, your faith. Do you believe and trust in God the Father? source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist. We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite you now to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may Christ, who out of defeat brings new hope 
and a new future, fill you with his new life and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and those whom you love now and forever. Amen.